Oh, hello, Gazette viewers. Welcome back to another edition of the Revision 3 Gazette. I'm Cracker Jack reporter Sarah Lane. Um, I was just, um, I was just doing some work, but um, we're in our new offices now. You saw them last week. This is actually where I decided that I would sit. Um, when I say that I decided it, it's a bit of a loose term, but I'm sitting here. It's a pretty good desk, actually. There's a lot of, lot of room to do things. I've got my laptop, I've got my desktop. My desktop doesn't actually work, but I'm hoping it will someday. Heather is actually the second woman hired at Revision 3, which is very exciting for me. I think we're gonna fight for one of the bathrooms, actually, now that I'm here. As your superior, I think we know who will win. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, so what are you working on today, Heather? Um, I'm actually making some contacts at the local film school to um, see if we can get a design for our new set, for a, for a new show launching at the end of the month. It's very exciting. So you're actually working. I am actually working. Wow. Very hard, very hard. Chuck! Hey. How's it going, Chuck? It's going good. What's going on? What are you doing? I am trying to get in digital out. Ah, uh, the show and digital. Exactly. Yeah, so you must be pretty busy. Just a tad. You know, I know you're busy and I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I wanted to ask you a question. Chuck, what inspires you? Uh, mm, beer. Last time you saw the Edipe, it was totally empty. And I was talking about how great it was going to be. Check it out now. Now this is what I call an Edipe. You can always tell when Glenn, our editor, is working in Edipe, because whatever he's working on is always followed by something involving couscous. Rumor on the street is that his girlfriend is a vegan chef. This is a Glen room, I can tell. Now, we're in San Francisco. So, there's something about San Francisco that many of you may not know. During the summer, it's bitterly cold. Warm days are hard to come by. So, what's really nice about this office is that the server room blows out all this hot air because we don't actually quite have our air conditioning system all worked out yet. So when I get cold, I just like take off my shoes and I stand in front of these little things and I warm my feet up like I was at a campfire. <laughs> it's awesome. Now, I'm gonna share something with you. It's pretty private. It's pretty insider at Revision 3, but since you're Gazette viewers, you deserve to know the real story. A little something we like to call Fruit Club. What is Fruit Club, you ask? It's a very good question. Fruit Club is, well, Fruit Club is actually kind of undefined. What we know about Fruit Club right now is that on each day of the week, Monday through Friday, somebody has to bring fruit, okay? So for example, Monday is Huckleberry Heather. That's Heather, you met Heather. She does not have to bring huckleberries. She could, that would be bonus, but she just has to bring something in the fruit family, which also includes tomatoes for all those people who think tomato is a vegetable, it's not. Tuesday is Mango Martin. Um, Martin has never brought a mango. But Martin is very serious about Fruit Club. He's never missed, never missed a week. Um, he's, he's our founder. He's also chairman of the board. On Wednesday is price per pound Prager. Prager's not doing well at Fruit Club. Um, he doesn't bring anything, ever. And he may actually get booted out of the Wednesday slot, which is a really good slot. Thursday is Juicy Jujuba J. Now, when Jay said, I want to be Juicy Jujuba J, we all said, hey, that's not a fruit. That's something that you made up that sounds funny, like a tongue twister. And he said, no, 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 it's a fruit from China. And Friday is seedless Sarah, that's me. Now, I don't always have to bring seedless fruit. Those are the rules. But if you think about it, most fruit is seedless, isn't it? I mean, we're not really talking about pits or peaches or cherries or apple. No, no, apples do have... Oh. Are you Jay or Gator? I'm Jay. You're Jay. So tell me the difference between you and Gator. Um, I know. A, there's a big difference. What is it? Well, I'm not Gator. I'm Jay. Gator's not even related to me. He's this guy from Gainesville, Florida. Well, why do you look like him? I don't know. We have a similarity. We look a lot alike. And some people even say that we both look like Ricky Kang as well, but I don't know that. That's true. I'm working on Web Drifter stuff. Oh, good. You know, I was wondering if we were ever going to bring Web Drifter back. We are bringing Web Drifter back this fall, Martin Sargent's Web Drifter. And we're going to go visit great people like Slade Fierro, who's a doctor for real dolls. Is it Fierro, like the car Fierro? I used to really like those. Did you really? Oh, my God. Are you kidding? A Pontiac Fierro? That was like my dream car. Those are pretty badass. Yeah, they are. Fierro. Jay, I wanted to um, compliment you on your shoes. 
Oh, thank you. They're brand new. What's kind of cool about Jay's shoes is that not only can you wear them, but you can play checkers on them. <laughs> you can play, yes, you can. You can play chess, I guess, but I feel like those shoes are more checkered shoes. There's all kinds of games you can play with them, actually. Sometimes I just stare at them for hours. Here's some remnants of Fruit Club, right? Yesterday, Jay brought in prunes. three prunes. Well, he brought in five prunes because Monday through Friday, right? Only two prunes were eaten. I didn't uh, partake in the prune eating, not because I don't like prunes, I actually really do. They're good for regularity, but you know that. But I'm fasting, so I can't eat fruit. What I've got right here is my last two sips of what I eat every day. This is part of my master cleanse fast. I know it looks like pee or worse, but it's not. It's actually very good. What it is is lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemons, cayenne pepper, it's really hot, and organic grade B maple syrup. Very refreshing. Earned the throat a little though. Last time we saw these conference rooms, there wasn't a lot going on inside. Since then, the conference rooms have been named. This is conference room Flexo. Inside Flexo is a table, a few chairs, and a headset. Next conference room is Bender. Can you guess what theme we're working off of yet? We have a theme for our conference room names. Yes, you guessed it. Our conference rooms are named by robot names. Pretty cool. There's actually a sales meeting going on in there right now. And I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be in there, and I'm pretty sure I'm in trouble. Back in the days of tech TV, my cube was right next to a cube that belonged to someone named Patrick Norton. That cube was a very scary place. <laughs> One of the things that Patrick's most known for is his music collection. I mean, he's like a punker, you know? Punk rock. And I have my hands on some of his favorite albums like The Descendants, I Don't Want to Grow Up, or Warren Zevon. Warren Zevon. He's more of a 70s crooner. Oh. You may know him from Werewolf in London. Oh, no, that was him? Mm-hmm. Oh. And Lawyers, Guns, and Money. Don't know that one. Dinosaur Jr. Bug, one of the best albums ever out in SST, also the home of Black Flag and The Descendants. Pennywise, Land of the Free, question mark. Has the impossibly wonderful Fuck Authority. <laughs> and pie tasters, ooh, lulu. This is. Uh, oh, the best of the pie tasters. Yeah, it's basically My a mistake. compilation of all of their albums. They're a uh, uh, ska band from Virginia, Richmond, Virginia. Great live show if you ever get a chance to see them. You're so alternative. It's ridiculous. Fire hose, not to be confused with Firehouse. Definitely not to be confused with Firehouse. Uh, <laughs> this is Mike Watt and George Hurley from uh, the Minutemen. And then finally, um, Berkeley's finest, Rancid. Yay! Yay! Oh, hey, look who we got here. Well, hey! It's, it's Internet's Martin Sargent, everybody. Wow! Hi! How are you doing, Sarah? I'm really good, Martin. It's so good to see you. I haven't you seen you since yesterday. Wonderful. Thanks. You smell also really good. So last time we were with each other, we were in our other space, and you might be thinking, hey, whatever happened to that other space since now Sarah's in her brand new spiffy office? Something really cool going on with the other space. I'm about to show you what it is. Come on in. This is our new studio. These guys down here at the other end of the room are laying down our new floor. The deal is, is that when you look at the floor, it's kind of nice and cement, but it's not level. So it's like one level and then it kind of goes up right here. That's not going to be good. You can't roll around cameras in a studio like that, so we've got to level the whole floor. So thanks for being here for the second episode of the Revision 3 Gazette, hosted by Cracker Jack reporter Sarah Lane. That's me. If you want to see anything else next week, because you know my ideas are going to run out pretty fast, Leave a post in the, uh, the Gazette forums at revision3.com and you know, let me know if you want to know more about Fruit Club or what color underwear Martin wears or you know, just general questions like that. Um, be happy to answer them. And until next time, that didn't sound good. Until next time, I'm, I think I'm going to get out of here.